Crafty Fam, it's Alex Vanover. Welcome back to my craft room. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to apply HTV to an apron. Now, this was a project from the DIY Alex Summer Party Mystery Box, but if you didn't get a mystery box, don't worry. I'll link everything that I'm using in the description below. So let's jump into it. So to begin designing our grill apron, of course we need to begin with an SVG. I got this SVG from Creative Fabrica, so I will link it in the description below if you're interested in using the same one. So the first thing I'm going to do is ungroup this SVG so that I can make this a two color design and make it a little bit more interesting. So I'm gonna make the color hot orange. It's gonna be a really, really pretty pastel orange. And then I'm going to do grill orange as well. And I'm going to make all the areas in the middle bright red to match the Softlex HTV from our mystery box. I think this design is going to look so good together. So once you have all of your colors changed, then it's important to attach everything that's all the same color. So I'm going to choose the um, hot word at the top, hold down the shift key on my keyboard, and then choose grill. And then we need to choose attach. And the reason we need attach is because we want everything to cut in this exact place. We don't want anything to move around on the mat when we go to the next screen. And that's what attach does for us. And you always want to attach things that are the same color. So if they're going to be multiple colors, they're going to be on different mats. And that's why you only attach things that are the same color on your canvas. So we were able to um, select hot and grill on the canvas, but we can also use the layers panel for this, which is this area over here on the right. So I'm gonna start by clicking my first red shape, which is off the here in the center. Then I'm gonna hold down my shift key again and just choose the layers on the right hand side. Sometimes if layers are difficult to select, you can use the layers panel and that's a little bit easier. So then I'm gonna choose attach on those as well. So next we need to size our design for the grill because then when I click and draw a box around everything, or excuse me, for the apron, not for the grill, <laughs> we need to size this for the apron. And you can see that the width here is 23 inches, which is huge. So I'm gonna change it to about eight inches wide because I measured my apron already and I think that's gonna look really good. Well, that only makes it about five and a half inches tall, so that might be a little bit small. So let's make it eight and a half inches wide. And then another little trick we can do is unclick the lock button here in the lower left-hand corner, and then use these arrows to actually drag it down a little bit. So we're not gonna change it a ton, but that's just gonna help us take up a little bit more real estate on the apron, and I think it's gonna look a little bit better that way. So that'll make it eight and a half inches wide by six and a half inches tall. So that'll be, that'll stand out really, really well on the white apron. So once you're happy with your design and you have everything attached, you can click the green make it button. And you'll see that everything is arranged on my mats accordingly. And since we're cutting these out of heat transfer vinyl, we're going to click the mirror button on both mats. And next we'll click continue. And once your machine connects, next you can select your material. So for me, since we are using StarCraft Softlex HTV, I always use Everyday Iron-On and that's a great cut setting for me. I would say that's probably what works for most people. So I'm gonna set my machine to Everyday Iron-On. I'm gonna go over to my machine and cut these things and I'll see you guys over at my craft table so I can show you how to weed and press them on your apron. So once both pieces are cut on your Cricut, the next step is to weed both of them. And you'll notice that the bright red um, StarCraft Softlex has a white backing and that's just to ensure that no matter what color you apply it on, the color always stays nice and bright. On this one, you can tell it's pastel orange on the other side, but all almost all of the colors that are labeled bright do have that white backing, even in HTV.
So now let's hop over to my heat press and apply this to our apron. So to press my Softlex HTV, I have my heat press set at 285 degrees for 10 seconds. So to get started, I always like to layer my design all the way so that I know what it's going to look like when I place my largest layer. So now what I'm going to do is peel off the red layer, which is what I'm going to add to the design second and set it aside. And now since we're just tacking this layer down, I'm just going to press it for five seconds. And I'm also going to move that top seam off of the platen of the heat press so it doesn't interfere with the pressure. And once our first layer is tacked down, I'll remove the carrier sheet. And then I can add the second layer on top. So I can take my time getting everything lined up really nicely. And this design makes it really easy because I've got the F's sliced out of that G right there and I've got the T going into the O and the flames sitting right on these L's. So this is super easy to line up. And so now that I'm happy with it, and this is my last layer, I'm gonna press the entire design for 10 full seconds at 285 to finish the press. And once you peel off that carrier sheet, then the apron is all finished. If you make anything using my tutorials and you share it out on Instagram, be sure to use the hashtag DIYAlex because I love seeing what you guys are crafting. And if you've made it this far in the video, then I really want to get to know you on social media. So please be sure to find me at DIYAlexVanover on pretty much all major social media platforms, and I'll be sure to put direct links to my profiles down in the description below. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more just like it, then be sure to subscribe to the DIY Alex YouTube channel and be sure to ring the bell so that you get notified every single time that I put out a new video every single week. But don't wait for next week's video. Be sure to check out this one next. Or if you want to make your DIY dreams come true, be sure to check out this video. I know that you're going to love it.